Elisa has a message for you, for you white people, man. She says, dear white people, some of y'all really need to hear this message. Maybe it's best heard coming from someone who looks like you. <laughs> I will continue to commend white people who aren't afraid of the truth. <laughs> Hashtag racism. Hashtag black Twitter. Hashtag white Twitter. Hashtag unity. Hashtag wolf. Okay, so Aletha believes agrees with this man. Uh oh. If Aletha agrees with this man, what is it? What is this white woman in this video saying? All white people should empty their bank accounts and donate their money to a black person. <laughs> Like, what is she saying, man? That's we got a Letha agreeing with her, man. Born white, and no reasonable person is saying that you are. What we're saying is that it is a problem if you don't acknowledge what it means to have been born white in a racist society. It is a problem if you're not willing to examine the privileges. I know we all hate that word, but the privileges. Uh, y'all don't hate that word. Stop it. Y'all love that word. You love talking about your privilege you have over black people. Well, let me tell you something, man. You don't have no fucking privilege over me. I'll punch you in your face, white woman, and get, and get out the day. I might get away with it, but if I get caught, I'm getting out the next day. If you say something that I don't like, you're going to lose your fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> I have privilege. I can punch you in your fucking face in Times Square, get arrested peacefully, and be released the next day. And by the time my case goes to trial, they're going to throw it out like they do the majority of the cases that black men catch in these democratic cities. They get tossed out before they even go to trial. If you say something that I deem as racist, your life is ruined, you fucking moron. A racist society. It is a problem if you're not willing to examine the privileges. I know we all hate that word, but the privileges, the benefits, and the means of insulation we inherit by virtue of being born white. The only insulation you inherit is living in white neighborhoods, which are safe because there are no black people there, and going to white schools or private schools that are safe because there's no black people there, or there aren't high populations of black people there. That's the only insulation you have. You have no insulation on public transportation. You have no insulation on the fucking street the downtown streets of your city. You have no insulation in other shared spaces, malls, <laughs> amusement parks, things of that nature. Your only insulation you have are in white institutions that are majority white institutions or homogeneous white um, spaces. Other than that, you're victims of crime at a high rate. You're victims of gaslighting by black people that know that, you know, they could just fucking accuse you of everything that's going wrong in their lives. And you also have other groups, not just black people. You have migrants. You have other marginalized groups that fled their country to come here and be marginalized. And it's not that we can't experience other disadvantages, including some that we may share with Black, Indigenous, and other people of color. We can be discriminated against on the basis of our sexuality, our gender, our physical... And your race. You're always being discriminated against by your race. Salute the Honky Kong, man. He says, what up, Oc Nation? Shout out to Honky Kong. Honky Kong in the building. 
Everyone hit the like button, man. Everyone smash that like button. Goal abilities, our economic status. There are plenty of reasons why a given white person might grow up in a shitty situation, but the color of our skin has never, ever, ever, ever been one of those problems. You can tell she's never been around black people, man. <laughs> she's never been around black people, man. She's never been on a college campus. She's never, yeah, you maybe you've been very insulated, man. Because come around black people, the color of your skin will be a huge talking point, a huge issue. Come around some black people, man. <laughs> And like spend time around them. I'm not talking about just dip in and dip out. I'm not talking about like, you know, just come to some meeting somewhere and, you know, sit in the back and shit and then and, and, and leave. Come around some black people and see if your race is, 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 gets you anything, man. Huh? But extort it. Problems. And if you, can't say that out loud has never ever 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 been one of those problems and if you can't say that out loud then you're being racist white folks we have to disabuse ourselves of this notion that to be racist is to walk around throwing out the n-word left and right that's not what that means racism sleeps racism waits Rac racism thinks that black people can't do the same things that white people do. Racism is the soft bigotry of low expectations that most white liberals, all white liberals, display on a regular basis, brazenly and boldly, their low expectations of black people. Their differing expectations of black people. Racism is little things that you don't even know that you're doing until somebody tells you about it after the fact. If you could always see racism from space, then we, and by we, I mean white people and only white people, wouldn't have been so shocked over the last few years to discover that so many of our loved ones are big old racist bags of shit. Because one, racism is subtle, it sneaks up on you, it manifests in tiny ways, and two, we never had to interrogate those behaviors because we were insulated by racism. <laughs> Yo, when your country, when, a, when, a, when the United States collapses, man, I want to put this video in the time capsule so that whatever future civilization, you know, digs through the rubble of America and they want to know what <laughs> what ruined America man <laughs> exhibit A man <laughs> this is what ruined America this woman is she, she's actually she seems like she's from fucking DC or something she could fit right in in Washington DC man but yeah, man. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. This woman is a nut. Look at that look. And why do all liberals always have that nutty ass look? At least she got long hair. She doesn't have like a high top fade or nothing. But why do they always have that nutty ass weird look, man? And who's this character co-signing everything she says with? <laughs> racist bags of shit because one racism is subtle it sneaks up on you it manifests in tiny ways and two we never had to interrogate those behaviors because we were insulated by racism listen bigotries of all kinds often manifest unconsciously by accident and the only way we can catch it the only way we can be vigilant is to rely on other people to let us know and then to build our experience around that knowledge <laughs> the only way to <laughs> the only way to get rid of bigotry is to rely on others to let us know and build our lives around that experience. <laughs> oh my god yo
Yikes. Yikes. Well, I think it's racist. <laughs> I, I can't wait till a bunch of black guys come through and say, it's, it's racist that you won't sleep with me. <laughs> I think it's racist that you won't sleep with me. I think it's racist that you make me wear a, wear a condom. <laughs> I think it's racist that you make me call you back the next day. I think it's racist that I have to be in the delivery room when you're having a baby. I think it's racist that I got to come spend time with you and the baby. <laughs> I think it's racist that I have to say thank you. Why should I, as a black person, have to say thank you? Thank you was a word used during slavery that blah, 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 blah. Why should I have to say thank you? I think it's racist that I have to hold the door open for a white woman. I mean, come on, what is this, slavery all over again? I think it's racist that I have to say, excuse me when I fart. Why do I have to be excused? Because I'm not a member of society? White people fart all the time and they don't say, excuse me. This is a slippery slope, you. <laughs> a slippery slope, white woman racism listen bigotries of all kinds often manifest unconsciously by accident and the only way we can catch it the only way we can be vigilant is to rely on other people to let us know and then to build our experience around that knowledge if you can just get comfortable with the fact that prejudice is an inherent part of the human experience then getting feedback about it will involve a lot fewer tears and heartbreak in conclusion, my fellow Snow Americans, to be good is to accept your limitations and be okay with being wrong. Oh, man. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Y'all are in it, man. I don't know how you get out of this one, white people, man. I really don't. I'm not even going to lie to you, man. I just don't know how you get out of this one, man. Um, <laughs> this is a tough one, man. I don't know how you get out of this one, white people, man. Um, This is a tough one. God, dog, how do you... How do you find your way out of this this morass you found yourself in, man? Jeez, it's gonna be tough, man. <laughs> I'm rooting for you because I like running water and electricity and stuff like that. That will surely go away once <laughs> once other groups, you know take more control of this country but uh um yikes man um yikes yikes Whew. it's rough out here in the field man it is rough I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see a path forward for the right race, man. People like that, man, are just gonna like. You gotta get rid of them, man. You gotta get rid of them, man. You can't have those people, yo. Those people are. They're worse than what, what black people would call a sellout or Uncle Tom. Those people are way worse. Black people would call you an Uncle Tom 
or a sellout, like if you just like if you say like damn, I think OJ did it or some shit like that. I think OJ killed his wife, man. Oh, you on with time yourself. That shit right there that that white woman just did, that's way worse than um being a Uncle Tom on a sellout. That shit is crazy, man. Yikes. Nick Tal Javon says, yo, I, white liberals constantly talk about privilege. It's being pushed everywhere, including the media and academia who's scared to talk about it. Yeah, man, privilege. <sighs> privilege. Yikes. To just say that, to think that you have privilege over somebody, just to announce that is so snotty and uppity and disrespectful. I have to imagine myself being around a group of uh, homeless people and just be like, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm privileged over y'all, man. I'm privileged, man. Yikes, man. 